Hey crypto bros and sisters, welcome back to the channel as always. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to join our crypto fam by hitting the thumbs up and subbing to the channel only if you gain any value from the content. Alright guys, let's jump right into it. We have another crypto scammer who was exposed guys. Abner Alejandro Tanaco, age 27, was convicted of wire fraud in a 9 million Ponzi style scheme with his company KitKat and Mess Investments which deceived the investors by using their money to finance a luxury lifestyle, authorities said. This crook spent customer funds on private jets, sport cars, and properties. Tanako's business KitKit and Mess Investments was founded in 2020 and had its own office in downtown El Paso, upscale Mills Building. The company dissolved in 2022 of June, online corporate records show. In January, Tanako pleaded guilty to five counts of wire fraud in U.S. District Court in El Paso, following an investigation by the FBI El Paso's Complex Financial Crimes Task Force, guys. He had faced up to 20 years in prison. He was pretty smart just to plead guilty, unlike Sam Bakeman, who might get, you know, 100 years in prison. I don't think he'll get 100 years, but he'll get more than Tanako, I can tell you that. Federal prosecutors said that Tanako solicited millions of dollars from investors by claiming he was managing customer client portfolios to trade in cryptocurrency and foreign exchange markets. Why do people fall for the scam? No one can take care of your money better than yourself, guys. And if you need someone to take care of your money, you need to ask yourself why. You can learn and invest yourself. Never let someone tell you any different. Believe in yourself, guys. I know you guys can do it. I'm tired of hearing about good people getting scammed out of their crypto savings. In a separate civil case, the Commodities Futures Trading Commission obtained a civil consent decree against Tanako and his business imposing a ban on trading activity, the U.S. Attorney Office said. The Department of Justice is working on getting restitution for Tanako's victims. This defendant manufactured a predatory scheme, investigating less than half a percent of funds from over a dozen victims who trusted him with millions of dollars in investments, U.S. Attorney Jamie Esperanza for the Western District of Texas said in a statement. We will continue to strongly prosecute rapacious fraudsters who take advantage of unexpected victims while also holding the defendants responsible for those victims' lost funds, Esperanza said. I really hope they could get most of the customer funds back and that that man serves at least 10 years in prison. These crypto crooks need to be held accountable for deceiving people. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit me up on TikTok at NoCatCrypto with two O's at the end. And if you're watching me on YouTube, you already know what to do to help your crypto bro out against these YouTube algorithms. Until next time.